Google Anti-Gravity, how to go from complete beginner to expert by coding with Google Anti-Gravity. Let me show you exactly how to use this. If you've never used Anti-Gravity, you can download it for free at antigravity.google and you can get all the video notes from today plus the resource links inside the AI Success Lab, link in the comments and description. I'm gonna show you exactly how to go from beginner to expert using this process. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to Anti-Gravity like you can see once you've installed it. And then from here, you're gonna open up a new folder. Right. So we're going to open up a new window and then I'm going to build a new project to show you how to start on this from scratch. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to click on open folder and then we're just going to create a new folder and start building out an example project. Right. So let's say, for example, we want to build out to do list. We can open that up like you can see right here. And then on the right hand side, you're going to see a example of the chat right and inside the chat you can ask it questions you can ask it to build stuff i actually got a list of 100 prompts inside the video notes from today right so if you go inside this section you can choose which api you want to use if you want to move really fast you can use flash if you want probably the best api for coding i would use opus 4.5 thinking but obviously there are limited credits if you're on the free plan so if you want to stick on the free plan and you don't want to run over your usage limits you can use gemini 3 flash right now what you're going to see over here is you have two options you have fast and you have planet right on the drop down now the other thing to note here whilst we're waiting is that you can actually insert images or workflows inside this section i rarely do that but if you have an image or a screenshot of a website that you want to recreate then you can plug that in as well right and so from here it's going to start building it out and you can see it's created a full to-do list as a checklist to start coding out our project perfect and then you can see it's now created an implementation plan so if you look at the tabs at the top you don't need to be able to code or to be technical to use this you've just got a task list over here of all the tasks that it's going to do for the project and then you've got an implementation plan of exactly how it's going to implement those tasks right and so from here we can actually click on proceed and start to use the implementation plan to build out our project now whilst i'm talking to you this will actually go off and build out your project in the background right and the great thing about this is it has different coding agents that can edit create files create the project plan out the project, et cetera. And all you really need to do is give it the idea that you have in your head. If you're not sure how to come up with ideas that you can build, well, bear in mind, you can use Google Anti-Gravity to build apps, tools, mini apps, websites, landing pages, right? And so if you go inside Claude here and you're like, okay, I have no idea what to build, but I want to test this out. I want to learn how to use it, right? So you can say, okay, based on what you know about me, give me 10 powerful ideas for apps, websites, tools, even games that I could build plus the prompts, right? And order by which one will help me the most, right? Something like that. And so you can actually get Claude to come up with the ideas for you. And the cool thing about Claude or whatever AI you use day to day, could be ChatGPT, for example, then it will actually understand, okay, this is what you do day to day. So this is how you can automate it, right? It actually gives you the prompt plus the description of what the tool does and why it's important. And it orders it in terms of which one is gonna be the most powerful for you. Perfect. All right, so if we go back to anti-gravity now, we could always just paste in those prompts that we got from Claude. If we go back to anti-gravity, you can see it's beginning to start building this out. And if we click on accept here, what you can see now is it's written the JS the JavaScript, the style CSS, and the index HTML, which is basically the project files. Now, what you can see here is the AI agent is actually testing out this tool and using my computer whilst I'm talking to you, right? And for example, here, we can click on confirm, and then the AI agent is gonna start creating test tasks and just testing this out, right? Now, you can see here, the UI is pretty basic, okay? So the UI is pretty basic when you're testing this, but you can see that the tool works, it's created the to-do list, and that was super simple. It's even named it Stellar Tasks. And then if you click over here, sometimes it's gonna ask you to confirm that it does the right action. You can see how easy that was, right? And so it's completed the mission, it's tested out the tool. You can see it, the AI agent just clicking in buttons and testing things out. If you wanna know if the AI agent is actually using it, well, you see a blue line around the background of anti-gravity, and then you know you can see, for example, it's testing how to delete stuff. Basically what it's trying to do at this point is figure out what are the errors that it's got inside this and does it need to fix anything? But so far this has been coded out perfectly and how easy was that, right? Now, if you go back to stop over here, what I can show you is a way to really take this to a whole new level, right? So if you're a fan of Claude, for example, you can actually go to the extension section over here. You can install Claude code, right? for VS Code, and it will actually install Claude Code's extension inside Anti-Gravity, right? So if we go back to our projects over here, and by the way, there's a menu here, so you've got like Explorer, which is your project files. You've got Search and Replace, 
you have the source control, right? So you can actually, for example, publish to GitHub or take a repository, and then you can run and debug, and you can also use the remote explorer. I honestly don't use these four. I just use the extensions and I use the file explorer, right? If you want to keep things simple. And then from here, what you can do is if we go back to our project, so we click on the file at the top, which is the index HTML. What we're actually going to do from here is we are going to click on terminal, new terminal, and we can actually now open up Claude code inside anti-gravity to just give it the final touches. So for example, here, if we type in Claude, right? We'll type in Claude there. It's got Claude code installed. We're going to click yes, continue. If you don't have Claude code installed, no problem. You can check out my other videos on how to install it. And then from here, we can improve this, right? So we can actually just type in plain English what we want to do. And the coder from Claude will improve the project files inside here. Now, why would you use Claude code instead of anti-gravity and the default APIs here? Number one, there's limits. And number two, Claude code is super UI and it can do almost anything, right? Also, Claw Code understands you and it's customized to you, right? And so, for example, here, if we go inside this section, we're going to say, okay, make this app more beautiful, interesting, modern, engaging, fun, dopamine inducing, bright, etc. Just try and create something really fun with animations. And what it will actually do is it will look at the app. It's going to ask you for a few permissions and that sort of thing, but it's basically going to start coding out the project for us and just improving it and taking it to a whole new level. Now, whilst we're doing, if you're a fan of MCP servers, which basically just connects your project to other tools externally. So for example, that could be PayPal or Stripe. It could be, for example, Firebase, if you want to add backend or Superbase, then what you can do is you can click on the three dots at the top, additional options, and then you can click through these and connect it to whatever you want, right? And you just set up the MCP that way. As you can see, you can connect it to, for example, like Atlassian or Prisma or Superbase, whatever you want, right? Even Google maps now if we go back to the agent that will get you back to where you were right so if you click on the three dots that takes you to mcp servers you can click on these and download and install them if you don't want to do that or you just want to go back then you click on back to agent right i wish people had told me this stuff and explained it as simply as this but that's basically how this works right and then from here what you can see inside the terminal is it's asking you questions so pay attention down here and it'll say do you want me to make these edits i'm going to click on yes allow all edits and then it'll start coding out and testing this for me, right? And so now Claude code is actually improving the existing code that we have to make those changes that are specified about improving the UI, right? Some people ask like, how do you have multiple agents modifying the code and that sort of thing? So number one, you've got the agent on the right-hand side and you can switch between like fast and planning to have these agents that test things out. Also, it really runs automatically. Like you don't even have to manage these agents, right? So the agent that can control the browser just automatically runs in the background. And that was what was testing this out previously, right? The planner, the builder, etc., runs automatically over here. And then if you want the Claude coding agent to help you as well, then you just go to terminal, new terminal, run Claude, boom, you're good to go. Right? And now it's editing the CSS as well. It actually shows you edits and where it's up to in terms of progress here. You just wait for it to finish up right there. Okay. So if we go back to the video notes from today, and we're going to go back here, right? Really my four-step framework for building AI apps without code, and I call this the Goldie Gravity Method, is really about letting AI do the heavy lifting, right? You've got ground, you set your foundation and tell it exactly what you want in terms of the app, right? How do you get the app ideas? You can go to Claude and you can automate that, right? And then for example, Rise is where you really let your AI agents plan, which is how, for example, we came up with the task and the implementation plan over here, right? And then for example, the next step, Orbit, Watch It Build, is what we did when we saw the AI agent testing this out and just clicking buttons. And then the final step is verify, right? Trust but check. So you really want to just check this stuff out yourself before you host it anywhere. Now, I actually have a 30-day plan for implementing anti-gravity and really mastering it inside the video notes from today. And then also what we have is a list of 100 prompts that you can use, for example, for building like productivity tools or dashboards or, for example, landing pages using anti-gravity as well. Other people say building apps takes too long. And I would say the wrong story that some people tell themselves is even with AI, it will take weeks to build something useful. As I've shown you today, I've built apps in four minutes, right? And these aren't toys, these are functional apps. And the only thing that takes your time is the clarity, but you can actually get that from Claude nowadays as well. It's really easy and simple to use this stuff. And if you know what you want, AI just builds it fast, right? If you're vague, then you get vague results. So you really want to be just focused on being very specific in terms of what you want, right? And you can see how easy it was to use today. So if we go back to Claude, it's now finished up. We're going to click on open, right? So it said open index HTML in your browser to see the transformation. I'm going to click on open over here and we'll see what we get back. Could have created anything, but we'll see what we've got. 
So it's now going to just run the file and then it's going to open up inside our browser, as you can see, and boom, how much better does that look with Claude code versus the original? So this is the original from Gemini Flash. It looks all right, like that's usable. If you just want to use something free and easy, go with Gemini Free Flash, right? But if you want to build something that's like next level and just way more interesting as an app, then you can use Claude Code and look at the outputs, right? The old version versus the new version. The new version is 10 times better, right? And that is basically how to master anti-gravity to build anything you want to go from beginner to expert in just a few minutes. And you can see how simple it is once you get your head around it. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get all the video notes from today, you can get that inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments in the description. It connects you with 43,500 members. It's got a community and also inside the classroom here, you can learn AI automation and you can get the video notes inside this section, plus a bonus course that's completely free that shows you how to use anti-gravity. Plus you get the 30 day plan, you get the framework, you get a hundred prompts on how to use this stuff. Everything that you need to win with AI. Now, if you want to get a amazing community, if you want to connect with people learning and growing, if you want to connect with me personally, be able to direct message me, then you can get my help and support and the community's help and support inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This comes with 2000 members. Now there's a few reasons people join. Number one, people want to master AI business automation, right? And if you want to master that, you can check out our six week master course here that takes you from complete beginner to expert in five weeks. If you want to learn how to create AI avatar videos, like you've probably seen me do on social media, then you can check out my full tutorial right here, plus step-by-step -step instructions and learn this stuff in just 10 minutes, right? If you want to learn, for example, how to avoid overwhelm, with AI, shiny object syndrome, new tools coming out every day, probably feels a bit overwhelming and crazy and hard to keep up. And maybe you feel like you're behind with AI, right? What you can actually do is you can get my weekly updates and I only post them inside AI Profitable. And basically every seven days, I post a weekly update that breaks down what's worth your time and what's not. And so for example, here, you can see this old update. We break down the most useful stuff, the decent stuff, and the stuff you can completely ignore so that you used to save time, right? And it condenses 80 hours of my research per week plus all my videos into one quick one minute wonder update that you can read in a minute or two. We also have a focus protocol inside the AI Profit Boardroom that shows you exactly how to focus and stop the overwhelm that comes with AI. On top of that, inside the classroom, if you want to get more clients, you can check out the agency course. We have an AI SEO automation section here if you want to learn how to rank number one inside Google and AI search engines, just like we do. And everything there is for you to succeed, right? The other final thing that I would say is you can jump on coaching calls four times a week, ask any questions you have and connect with the community. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it.